If you listen to the dentist, by the year 2000, we were all on our way to having perfect smiles. But the dentist is saying something else today. For the first time since the 1950s, we are more at risk for cavities. And this is the culprit. I probably drink anywhere between four and six bottles on a daily basis. Drinking bottled water all the time means you may not be getting enough fluoride. And it's fluoride, a naturally occurring mineral that helps prevent tooth decay. In fact, the Canadian Dental Association says the issue of bottled water and the sudden rise of tooth decay in young children was a point of discussion at this year's World Dental Congress in Montreal. Okay, it's really Dr. Really Arun Narang agrees and says the biggest concern with bottled water is for the young, whose teeth are developing during the formative years up to age 18. It could be due to the increase in refined foods that are being consumed, as well as a combination of more people drinking water that doesn't have fluoridation in it, like our municipal water supplies. The vast majority of bottled waters do not contain the optimal levels of fluoride, and some contain no fluoride whatsoever. And let's not overlook those home water treatment systems. They often eliminate minerals, including fluoride. Contrast that to the City of Toronto, which spends half a million dollars a year adding fluoride to our water supply. But for many, bottled water bodes well with the busy lifestyle. You just can't avoid using a bottle of water. You're on the go and uh, you have no choice. Stop by and buy a bottle of water. And for many, incidents like Walkerton, which killed seven people and left hundreds ill, has left a bad taste in their mouth when it comes to tap water. We always wonder the source of it. And even with bottled water, I oftentimes wonder, is it truly spring water or is it tap water that's been bottled or, or what is the, the true source of it? The best advice? Listen to the dentist. You know the drill. This is Global's Neha Bhupal reporting.